Welcome back. So now what we've done is we have downloaded the apps, we've set up our page, we've personalized it, and we've set some measurements. And um, we've set some goals as well of what we want to achieve, how much weight we want to lose, um, and s set ourselves up with some measurements to, to really see how well we can improve upon you know our our arms our legs our waist our hips we've got those measurements circumferential measurements and um, so we can verify how far we've come in the next couple of weeks so you know what are we going to be doing what 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 is it going to look like well in terms of our eating which is it's going to be 70 percent of what we're going to be doing is is based upon how we eat over the course of the next four to six weeks so here are we're going to give you straightforward rules five rules number one stay away from starchy carbohydrates of all sorts and sugars sweets obviously but the starchy carbohydrates they tend to make up the majority of our meals so what are they bread rice pasta potatoes pastries noodles anything wheaty anything um potato sounding like sweet potato or butternut squash all those are high in starch starch raises insulin in our bloodstream insulin is a storage hormone it's not a, and it does not allow you to burn fat for fuel and that's the whole point of this so number one stay away from the starchy carbohydrates number two we're going to eat the same meals over and over again but that's okay because we do have a cheat day sort of embedded uh, within a week within seven days one day we're going to have a cheat day so Eat the same, rule number two, eat the same meals over and over again. And it might be uh, repetitive, like uh, one, one morning it might be three egg omelette with some herbs in there, like garlic or, um, you know, garlic and salt or a bit, of, a bit of chili in there, something like that. Another day it might be scrambled eggs um, with, with some uh, bits of bacon cut up in there. So it's going to be very much samey you know lunch could be like uh, if you're eating on the go it can be uh, just chicken drumsticks a load of chicken drumsticks and some um, uh, bolotti beans um, just just some beans that we, we, we can get in there without any kind of sugary sauce involved in that um, I mean, we, we can liven it up a little bit with some balsamic vinegar uh, get, get some lettuce leaves in there um, but yeah it, it, it's gonna be uh, cold meats kind of tapas cold meats and um, you know get get a bit of uh, salamis going a little bit of cold meat in there just to fill ourselves up with with the protein that's what where we're really looking at the, the beans help to a give us some fiber B, they give us a little bit of carbohydrate, not too much, but they give us a little bit so our, so our blood sugar levels don't drop amazingly low. Uh, so it's not a ketogenic diet. It's more of a, like a slow carb diet rather than a completely low carb diet. And then kind of evening meal, uh, you know, I could, I could have some or organic burgers and some refried beans. Refried beans look a little bit like mashed potato, but a darker color. Um, and you know it just reminds me of mash and I, I can have that with some mixed vegetables and um, the vegetables that we tend to have we want to be having anything green uh, cruciferous vegetables um, so let, let's talk about some um, broccoli is a good way, place to start spinach um, cauliflower is another good one peas uh, green beans and you know um, if we go to the beans and the legumes we're going to be talking about um, uh, kidney beans um, bolotti beans um, refried beans and um, black eyed beans you know all these these kind of beans you can get like a mixed beans um, eating plenty of beans <laughs> so that helps if we have that with with a lot of meals again it's going to be a little bit samey Again, um, or you know, or for lunch you could have 
some mixed vegetables and some chicken breast or something like that enough to keep us full so we are going to have the same meals over and over again and number three we don't want to drink any calories no way we don't we don't want to be undoing our good work by having sugary drinks um, which again is just going to really spike insulin saying that yes the diet drinks we can have some of them do spike insulin even though they're low in calories because it's very sweet tasting therefore you know pavlovian response of pancreas bam produces loads of insulin to to raise the insulin and we want to stay away from that but um you know they do say aspartame even though i'm not a big fan of you know that kind of chemical um that does not spike insulin so it is allowed is okay on this diet so a diet coke for example would be fine to have uh and more of a natural sweetener um which doesn't raise insulin too high is stevia so give those a try so we don't want to we don't want to drink any calories um we want to have one cheat day a week you know we, we just to have um we just got to kind of let loose on everything if you like um you know we could we can that during those six days if you like um you know you're gonna you're going to be craving some stuff. You're going to be seeing other people having some stuff. Everyone around you is, is ha eating normally, uh, and you're just eating the same repetitive stuff, and you're mm, you know, start getting a little bit grumpy about it all. But just log all those cravings down. Think, mm, yeah, those cookies, or uh, flapjack came to me the other day, or a big, huge bar of chocolate. You know, just log it down. And if your cheat day is on the Saturday, go out and buy it maybe on, on the Friday. Um, and, you know, stay strong on that Friday evening. You know, sometimes I just like to look at what I've got ready to go there. And, um, you know, that, that spurs me on for that last final phase, getting to my cheat day. And then cheat day, you know, I'll wake up and I'll, you know, for my breakfast probably, I'll, I'll have like a couple of big cookies with, with my coffee. But it's important psychologically, um, in able to do that and also physiologically you know your um, your thyroid hormone doesn't sink too low by going on on a low carb diet often thyroid performance gets depleted and there's only really so much damage that you can do in, in one day I, I know and I've, I've pushed it to, to see how, how much I can go with it but it really doesn't do that much difference yes you're gonna 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 fluctuate by a few pounds um, but it, but it's okay, uh, it really is. By Wednesday, bang, you're back you're back to losing again. A lot of it was water that you've gained from ev the extra carbohydrate load needs. Uh, there will be extra storage uh, of that carbohydrate. Some may go a little bit go to body fat, and but the rest gets uh, put into the muscles as glycogen. And that needs water to hold it in there, in place. So you know, some of the weight gain is going to be water. So, so don't worry about too much about that. Okay, and the last but not least is don't eat any fruit. I mean, fruits, it will spike insulin because it does have some sucrose in there, but there's a lot of fructose, which goes through pathways in the liver to, uh, and that generally goes to body fat. So again, not wise by all means go for it on your cheat day it's nice i find just to have that nice fresh fruit uh, feeling in my mouth on, on a cheat day and my cheat days now are less about gorging than rather than than about just having the sensations in my mouth and i, and I don't end up eating a lot but my, for first couple of times that you go on your cheat day yeah go crazy you know really go for it because you know, when you get back on onto it, you really won't. You know, those first two days was will seem quite easy actually, and um, because you're still quite full. Yeah, you'll be having some temptation and going, oh, you know, shall I, sh shall I just sack it? But your gains that you get each week will keep you strong, and that is it. I I will post you. I'll show you 
uh, all my photographs from week on week that I take and I, I am you know between starting and you know even just two weeks later three weeks later the difference in the photographs is absolutely incredible so so stay strong with that so finally just to reiterate we want to be having vegetables but the vegetables that we're going to be having are going to be kind of green and we're going to be having those with proteins no breaded fish just proper fish or no breaded chicken ch chicken uh, chicken breast chicken thigh chicken wings um, you know again we want um, to source our food well uh, so that it's of, of good quality and that's really important the higher up the food chain that we we get our we get our protein and we've got to be more responsible the, the farming methods have been the uh, farming husbandry uh, in looking after the chickens looking after the, the cows so they're healthy we're healthy and you know a lot of a lot of meats uh, a lot of salads with beans in um, very very important and we've got to stay away from those starchy vegetables store up your cravings for your cheat day and have a great time on, on that and yes you will still lose weight and just give it a try I'll be there to help you tweak it give you some give you some ideas from day to day uh, breakfast tends to be something egg based um, so in other words a bit of scrambled egg um, a little bit like um, you know omelettes but we're gonna just refrain from dairy dairy light fruit even though um, it will spike your insulin even though dairy is, is low uh, in, in overall sugars and carbohydrates it's uh, it does trigger insulin unfortunately a little bit like the, the sweetness but not not in the same way but it has it has an effect on that so I really do say limit your dairy i.e. your cheese and um, just have a little bit of milk you know when you make your scrambled eggs tiny bit of milk or tiny bit of milk if you must have it in coffee um, or, or just try alternative methods of um, milks you can there's 101 ways to, to have to have um, different types of milk so you can you can investigate that and, and um, another thing you are allowed nuts nuts are good um, however you know they they are jam packed for the calories so the temptation is to eat have that whole bag once it's opened it just seems it must be empty you know you've got to, you've got to finish it. But my advice would be just to take sparingly a few handfuls and have that. So it takes maybe a day or two, um, yeah, two days maybe to, to eat that full bag of nuts so that we haven't ingested too much. They tend to be called domino foods that once you start, you know, it goes forward and we have too much of those. So a lot of information. Um, I will help you every step of the way and you will do this and you will take those pictures of yourself the before pictures are so so important um, because you know it's it's that, that that holds it up when you have the two three weeks four weeks all all lined up and you you can see that change it, it's an amazing thing and it, it, you will know how to manage your body for the rest of your life and it is, it's, that is a very powerful thing to have. Okay, good luck. I'm with you every step of the way.